put the damn bag of chips away for a second and let's get to work. Built not bought. Yes. Yes, we love built booties over here. Hey y'all, it's your girl Nashina, AKA Fitness, and I'm here to help you get right, get fit in the comfort of your own homes. So first of all, let me just say, I hope you all are staying safe and healthy during this uncertain time. This quarantine has definitely made it really hard to keep up with the gains because the snacks, the DoorDash, the Uber Eats, oh my God, the wine, the sweet wine. But I'm here to get y'all back on track, hold y'all accountable, for these home games. So, prepare for a dun da 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 sexy, hot, fiery, lower body workout. Do you see this? Do, do y'all see this? Built, not bought. Built, not bought. Yes. Yes, we love built booties over here. While this isn't how I got my booty to grow over the past three years, this is definitely something that you can add to your workouts for the home, for the gym, outdoor if you're that ambitious, or creative. Other than that, um, let's get this work. And don't forget to show your girl some support. Come through for your sis and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So you don't miss when I put up my next video. And the short Instagram videos are like, they're great, but I, I want y'all to hear my voice when I'm giving the video so it's not just like, boom, content. I'm here to guide you through this journey. You know, even sometimes I get a little lost myself. I'm like, oh, 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 oh! I want y'all to feel the personality. I want you to feel what I feel when I do this workout. So that's what I'm gonna give y'all. Prepare to sweat, grab a water, put the damn bag of chips away for a second, and let's get to work. Yes. All right, so here we are with the first exercise, which is called the Bulgarian split squat. With this exercise, the movement looks very similar to a lunge, but what makes this different from a lunge is that the back leg is in an elevated position, resting on a platform like a chair, stool, or ottoman, and the load is primarily carried by the front leg. Y'all caught me slipping in the beginning, but that's because I wanted to make sure that my front leg placement would ensure balance and comfort. So you'll find yourself hopping around a little bit until you feel secure. Once you've found a comfortably balanced position with your elevated back leg, you're ready to go. You will begin the Bulgarian split squat by bending your front knee and the back knee and ankle will naturally follow downward. To ensure that you're practicing proper form during this exercise, engage your core, keep your chest high, and have your eyes look straight ahead. Anyway, what you need to see from the back? Perform four sets of 12 reps on each leg. Now we're gonna move on to Romanian deadlifts, AKA RDLs. I'm using a 15 pound kettlebell and long resistance band in this clip, but feel free to use whatever weight you have. Be creative, but make it make sense. Keep in mind that this is a hip hinging exercise, so the focus is not your lower back, but your hamstrings and glutes. Your knees should be slightly bent while hinging your hips by pressing your hips back as your torso naturally begins to lean forward toward the floor. Perform three sets of 15 reps. Moving on to our third exercise, the kneel to squat combo. Very simple exercise. But why is your girl looking like a real Amazon right here? Anyway, before you begin this exercise, you will need to be in a kneeling position. To start, you will step up with your right leg with the weight on your left knee. Next, bring your left leg forward so that you end up in a squat position. Then lunge the right leg backward and sink down into a kneeling position on the right knee. Finally, bring the left leg down into the starting position. Then repeat. Perform this exercise for three sets of 12 to 15 reps. Alrighty, for our next exercise, we're going to do some unilateral hamstring curls. That's right, you can get your hamstring curl fix at home. 
If you do not have a sturdy object like a table leg or a pole to wrap a long resistance band to, this option may be your best option. Grab a light to medium rubber loop band and place it slightly above your ankles. Next, lie down on your stomach with your feet hip width apart. I started the exercise with curling my right leg, but feel free to start with the leg you feel comfortable starting with. I make sure that I also flex the ankle of the resting leg to make sure that the band is secure throughout the exercise. Though you'll find from, from time to time that the band will roll up. Don't worry, just fix it and continue your set. When you bend your knee to pull your heel towards your butt, try not to lift your thighs and hips off the mat. You want to stay glued to the ground. And just as you would do this with the leg curl machine at the gym, you want to squeeze once you've curled your leg. If you ain't squeezing, what's your reason? Perform three sets of 10 to 12 reps. Yes, we are down to the final exercise. Ladies, we love doing this one for the peach gains. Abductions! Not those raggedy squatted abductions on the seated machine, but with the resistance band. Abductions are a great way to strengthen those outer thighs and glutes. Notice how I do not completely bring my legs to a close so that I keep constant tension with the band. If you find that using one band is easy, make it more challenging by putting on a second resistance band slightly below the band you're already using. Perform three to four sets of 20 reps, and then you're all done, sis! No bro! Thank you so much for sticking around and putting up with me. Um, make sure you subscribe if you didn't get a chance to. Share this video with friends and family who are looking to get fit, especially during quarantine, but don't know how to make the most out of their home workouts. So with that being said, thank you. Oh, and one more thing. I'll make sure that I include my social links in the section below so that way you can go ahead and show and follow, like, whatever, comment, do what you gotta do. Just let me know that you're part of the fitness community.